Okay, so today we're going to look at how to add and subtract radicals, also how to multiply, which same thing as dividing too, but we're not going to get into specifically dividing. So when you're adding and subtracting radicals, you have to add and subtract the like terms. Like think of it like, you know, 3x plus 4x. You can add those together, but you can't add 3x plus 4y. That won't simplify any further. So if you look at the example here, we look at it, we have radical 3 plus 3 radical 2 plus 4 radical 3. So the like terms in this situation are the radical 3 and the 4 radical 3 because they both share that same number underneath the radical. This radical 2 thing, we can't really deal with that. Um, now one other note, you may need to simplify the radicals first and then you'll see that they are actually the same radical, but maybe they don't look at it or don't look the same. And now we're going to add these things basically the same way you would add, like, for example, 4x plus 3x, like I was saying earlier. It would just be 7x. You're going to add the outside numbers. So, like, remember, imaginary 1 here. Pretend there's a 1 for this. And you would add the 1 plus the 4, and we get 5 radical 3, because you're going to keep the inside, keep the radical part the same, because, you know, you wouldn't, like... If you had 3x plus 4x, you're not going to add the x's somehow and get like 7 with 2x. I don't know what you would necessarily do. But basically it's like saying, you know, I have one of these radical 3's here. I have four of these radical 3's over here. If I put them together, I have five of the radical 3's. And then the part that's left over, of course, is just the 3 radical 2. And that's as far as you can simplify this. So. If you're multiplying radicals, multiplying radicals is actually really easy. All you have to do is multiply the outside times the outside and the inside times the inside. And then, if necessary, at the end, you simplify. So, we got 3 times 2. Great. Outside times the outside, 6. And then, inside times the inside, we have 15 times 5. You're left with radical 75. Now, let's just check. We'll go over to the side here. We'll just check and make sure, you know, see if we can simplify radical 75. I bet we can in the 6 radical 75 part 2. So 75 is 3 times 25. 25 is 5 times 5. Oh, look, we have a pair here. These 5s are a pair. So we can actually bring the 5 out front, and it'll join the 6 that's already there, and then what's left on the inside is this 3 that we never got to pair up. So then you do 5 times 6 is 30 radical 3, and then that's your final answer right there. All right, so we have two examples here, one where we're adding, one where we're multiplying. So let's do the adding first. All right, we need to get this um, to, we just need to add them up, we need to add the like terms. Oh, look, radical 27. 27 is different from 48. Okay, cool. Guess we can't do it. Moving on. Next question. That's done. Nope. Wait. Hold on. I forgot. We got to first try to simplify these. So let's try to simplify 27. We get 3 and 9, and then 9 goes to 3 and 3. So with this, we got a pair of 3s, and we got a 3 left over. That means one of the 3s comes outside. The leftover 3 here stays inside. That's 3 radical 3. All right, let's try 48. 48 is 16 times 3. 16 is 4 times 4. Oh, cool. Look at this. We got a pair of 4s, which means a 4 comes outside. And we have a 3 left over, which is great, because we had a 3 left over last time. And that simplifies to 4 radical 3. So essentially, just rewriting this problem, we have, instead of square root of 27, plus square root of 48, we have 3 radical 3 plus 4 radical 3. And now, since they're both radical 3s, we can just add the, like, essentially think of them as coefficients, the 3 plus the 4. And we got 7 radical 3 in the end. Okay, let's look at the multiplying uh, example here. So with the multiplying, we have 2 times 3 on the outside. Okay, cool, that's 6. And then on the inside, we have 6 and 3. So that's inside here, radical 18. Now we just check. We see if we can simplify this radical 18 any further. 
And that's two times nine. Nine is three and three. Oh, cool, look at this. We got a pair of threes right here. That means we already have a six outside. We're bringing a three outside. And then what's left on the inside is this two right here. So we do six times three is 18, radical two.